The stars of SmackDown Live have something to prove tonight. They're going to leave it all in the ring because that's what SmackDown Live is all about. Byron, put on a helmet, pull up your big boy pants. It's going to be a long, long night. Let's go. First match of the night. Here we go. We have a great match coming up next. You don't want to miss it. Here we go, matchup's gonna be a good one. Superstar ready for action. Wasting little time to start things off. There's the double H takedown on the big right hand. Here we go, this thing's breaking down before it even gets started. Chaos ensuing here. Incredible. Dating back to their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. And ugh, I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. Oh, it's cute. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Recalling your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey. Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two horsewomen. True, Michael, but not all moments were heartwarming. Remember when Charlotte brutally betrayed Becky in 2016? Charlotte's competitive nature always seems to supersede their friendship. Oh, what impact! Charlotte has many championship victories to her name, but her very first title win at the original NXT TakeOver was worthy of the Flair legacy. She beat a tough veteran in Natalya for that title. Oh my goodness, crushing it! Michael, I called the action at that first takeover where Charlotte won the NXT Championship with Ric Flair in a corner, and I can tell you, it was absolutely epic. And Natalya had many years of experience on Charlotte that night, not to mention her Uncle Bret Hart in her corner. But Charlotte prevailed, and the Queen had her first taste of good. This could end it in a hurry. Becky Lynch may be starting to fade here. She's going to have to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! Within five years of her first match at NXT, she goes for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She got the shoulder up. That's all that counts. Oh, oh need a yes. That's going to hurt. She dodges that one. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Michael, Charlotte's big match resume is amazing. She won the first ever WWE Women's Iron Man match, the first ever Raw oh, Women's wow. Championship match, and the first ever Women's Hell in a Cell match. She main evented Hell in a Cell, Byron. Don't you forget that. If she wasn't SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte would have entered the first ever Women's Royal Rumble, and you can bet she would have won that too. Charlotte has been the centerpiece of so many WWE milestones, but her match at Hell in a Cell 2016 was her biggest triumph ever. Well, Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks had so many epic encounters already, but their Raw Women's Championship match that night warranted a main event Hell in a Cell match. She doesn't want to get counted out here. Well, she better get back in that ring then. Charlotte is Charlotte with the spear. She's certainly looking good now, Cole. She goes for the quick pin. And she kicks out of two. She's still in this one. 
Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Charlotte with a nice reversal. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Oh no, we could be looking at a power bomb. I think you're right, Cole. Look out. The Queen looking to finish things off. Here's the figure four. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. This is Charlotte's best chance. The Queen has to capitalize. Oh, this is not good at all. The I don't have you walking funny. At the all Trapped now and just a what a strike. Oh, this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow dropped from above. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Thank you, Lynch. Some exploder. We might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Charlotte's just getting overwhelmed. That's not something you see often for the Queen. She goes for the cover. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. Charlotte makes her daddy proud every time she steps into the ring. They got him. Got the up. Got the disarmor. That might have done it, Cole. Jarring impact. Here we go. Becky Lynch setting it up. Wow. Oh, that's the impact. We might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Charlotte is in trouble. Man! That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Okay, this looking for all the glory here. Two, three, the pinfall and the victory. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Here is your winner, Charlotte. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up next. Going to settle the score. Man, oh man, the ravishing Russian has assembled her arsenal. A force more formidable than the Red Army. Here she is. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Oh my goodness, crushing it! What a stop! Good grief!
continuing to punish them. She goes for the cover. That was all too easy for Tamina. It's going to take more than that. slowing some here but she knew this match wasn't going to be easy if you're worried about her now you haven't seen many of her matches she can withstand so much more punishment than this tamina now on the defensive hand here's what we're going to see what she's made of pump the brakes a bit cold and shoulders down and she kicks out with relative ease wow Superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Big backdrop. Really seems like Lana is in a world of hurt. She might just have nothing left to give at this point. You can't help but think that this is the end of the road for her. She goes for the cover. True testament to grit. That's all right, Cole.
Got to be humiliated and embarrassed. Look at these combustible elements. Triple threat action is up next. It's a triple threat match, so these three superstars better keep their heads on a swivel. And so it begins. Despite triple threats being every man for himself, history has shown that the match's dynamics can create unlikely alliances. A participant must be ready to endure double team attacks at any time. Well, we're looking at the three of WWE's best going at it head to head to head in what promises to be an amazing match. The newfound focus of Andrade Almas has brought in great rewards as of late. Oh, you may call it focus. I call it finding the perfect balance between work and play. Nailed it. Thunderous slam. There's a pin now. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Almost showing the heart that won him the NXT Championship. What a clothesline! Ouch! He's on the defensive here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have oh. escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. It's always important to get off to a strong start in a match. It's even more important to do that in a triple threat match, given that you're going up against two opponents at the same time. Add to that the no disqualification stipulation, and there's little to no room for error. One mistake, and it can cost you a lot more than winning the match. Byron, you spoke about this before. A competitor must do everything they can do to start things off on the right foot in a triple threat match. One way to do that is to target one of your opponents and go after them as soon as the bell rings. You're battling two opponents at the same time, so it's hunt or be hunted. And that's what I like, Michael. It's survival of the fittest in that ring. In a triple threat, a superstar can't waste time feeling opponents out, getting warmed up, or easing their way into the match. You have to go at it as soon as the match begins. Big time slam! Vicious. Randy Orton is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history with few weaknesses. Corey, how would you target the Apex Predator? One needs to look at Orton's medical history for the key. More than anything else, a shoulder injury if you put the Viper on the sideline. And he kicks out. Gonna take more than that. When this guy's on, look out. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Ooh, what impact. Corey brought up Orton's many shoulder injuries earlier, and my quick research corroborates that. He suffered one just six months into his career, and has been out of action as recently as 2016 due to shoulder issues. Well, even if you don't re-injure the Apex Predator's shoulder, it's still smart to target it, as you'll drastically reduce the effectiveness of his RKO. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. This triple threat match really seems to be getting the best of him here, guys. I don't like his chances. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. Uh-oh. Hung out to dry. Good night. Nice. Shut it down. Reversal there by Randy Orton. Drop kick. Beautiful. Yeah. 
This could be it. Cover. This battle's not over yet. Not yet. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Here he goes. Benjamin Driver. Good night. Oh, boy. He is rolling. And a pin attempt. And the shoulder's up in time. Not yet. Exclamation point on the end of the match, guys. How's all this going to survive? I don't think he is. Oh, the arm's trapped. Scoop slam! He goes for the cover. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. He's making a statement here with this attack. Olympic slam! Nice! And gentlemen, Shelton Benjamin may be fading away here. He's actually running on fumes right now. That's over at this point. Some of the shine is coming off the gold standard at this point. His shoulders are down. One, two, and he kicks out. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Here is your winner. He is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Big win here to start the show. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoire. Whoa, hard truth. He's definitely starting to lose it here. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, 
destroy your face. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. Beautiful technique. I personally think R-Truth is one of the worst rappers in the history of music. His offense in the ring is no joke. An opponent has to be ready for Truth to try and land his high-speed offense as soon as the bell rings. Drop down. Leap from. Just launched. One of the things, and Corey, you mentioned this earlier, that a superstar has to be cautious of is when they're in there against our troop the troop tries to immediately land his high speed high impact offense our troop loves having fun in that ring but you better believe that when it comes to perfecting and going to the cover jeff hardy quickly getting the shoulder up oh, it looks like the daredevil wants to take a few more spills why not so agile what a stop good grief Unpredictable, fearless, and never hesitant to sacrifice his own body to take down an opponent. Jeff Hardy embodies the spirit of Team Extreme. I've been lucky enough to spend a lot of time with the Hardys since they returned. If you can even join me for an exclusive interview on WWE Network. You can just tell by speaking with Jeff that his fearless nature comes from a spirit within him to be... He's going for the pin. And there's still plenty of fight left. Too soon. I want to expand on what was said about Jeff Hardy being fearless. Jeff Hardy takes fear, crumbles it up with caution, and throws it all out the window when it's time to do battle. And then he becomes the charismatic enigma. All right, let's be totally honest. Jeff Hardy's a maniac. He loves chasing the thrill of the next adrenaline rush, whether it's in his motocross or in the ring. The higher the perch, the more spectacular the flight. He's in complete control. Hammering away. Look at him go. Oh, my God. Where is he? Where is he? It's his music. Where is he? His back is turned to his opponent. You've got to believe this one's over. Oh, what impact. And our truth evades that one. Here comes our truth. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Can he finish the job? Digging deep for a kick out. How in the world? This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He might have it. And our truth evades that one. Here we go. Slam down hard. This one's over, guys. There's Jeff Hart. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner, R. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest What's of the crowd is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.
The Uso Penitentiary is now open for business. And oh, James still is on duty. Byron, we'll meet in the yard later. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. Jey Uso is so explosive in the ring, guys. He can hit you with a splash, slap on a devastating submission, or start a super kick party. And while he's dished out a few hangovers oh. with his brother Jey Uso, he's more than capable of throwing a super kick party all by himself. Truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. But since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until referee's five count to execute the move. With the tag is Jey Uso. Oh, in the face! Destroyed! Nobody controls the pace of a... There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Showing off some of his speed there. the impact. Yeah, no question. He's showing great energy. Oh. Boom! Rocket kick! Boom! Rocket kick! This might be the opportunity he needed. And boom! With the cutter! This just... He's got the shoulders down. And the count's broken. Keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. Oh, oh my god, surfboard leg breaker. Precarious position here. Electric chair into the face buster. Oh my gosh, 
surfboard leg breaker. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The running senton. Crushing impact. That's how you wear down your opponent. Man, Luke Gallows never stopped trying to gain an advantage. Harsh impact. He goes for the cover. Pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Now we see Carl Anderson, super kick. Jay should be able to cruise the victory here. Carl Anderson's just getting overwhelmed. Here's a cover. One, two. He's got some fight left in him. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special. Jay looking down at his opponent. Oh, Jay should be able to cruise the victory here. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Tequila Sunrise! Saxton, you should eat the worm. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against him. He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Look at this. Oh, that hurt in the chest. Inching closer, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Mike. Oh, and he dodges out of the way. This might be it. Oh, my. And he breaks the pin. Luke Gallows in some trouble here. His hopes of winning this tag team after starting to dwindle. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. Boom! <laughs> he better hope he can sustain this. Here it comes! He's got the shoulders down. Digging deep for a kick out. The co-founder of the Uso Penitentiary stays alive as Jey Uso kicks out. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Lightning fast reflexes. And it's Jey Uso getting out of that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. Gallo's able to get out of the way there. Nice little dodge ski. Certainly not on his side, Michael. Eight. Man, Luke Gallows never stopped trying to gain an advantage. Nine. Oh, I hate to see it end like this. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. Oh, I can't believe this. Man, this was great. Almost forgot about this one. Here are your winners, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. And it's a count out for Carl.
three here tonight. Man, I'll tell you, going out like that is a tough pill to swallow. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead. The bell rings and the big man from the South Pacific, Samoa Joe, looking for an opening in the early going. Most of the time, I don't understand Samoa Joe's problem. I understand healthy competition in WWE, but Joe takes it to a dangerous level. Saxton, I wouldn't expect you to understand Samoa Joe's mindset. He has the instincts of an assassin, something very few possess. His head crank. Look at the torque. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Gotta find a way to get out of this, Michael. Just getting carried around here. And you have to wonder what the end game is here, Cole. spot for him to be in here guys he's got to do something to get back in this thing oh man Startled right now. He needs to create some space. Into the cover. And Joe getting that shoulder up. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, oh man. Hammerlock applied. Oh no, no. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. oh it's gonna break an arm. What a stop. Good grief. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. There is something I've noticed throughout Samoa Joe's career. Something that should make all WWE superstars very cautious. Joe is like an assassin. He targets the competition, not only with a mission to defeat them, but a mission to destroy them. His shoulders are down. Kicks out in the nick of time. Gonna take a whole lot more. Byron, you see Samoa Joe having the characteristics of an assassin, carrying the attitude of a merciless mercenary. I question Joe's moral judgment, his lack of sportsmanship. Well, unfortunately, gentlemen, morality doesn't win championships, and you fellas may hate it, but you have no choice but to respect it. Samoa Joe makes no apologies for taking people out because he didn't come to WWE for sportsmanship. He came here to fight. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. He wants no part of the outside. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. We've seen this before. 
Samoa Joe is definitely starting to wane. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. That was rocking. No doubt about that one. You can't teach that type of talent. Beautiful technique. Nice. Shut it down. Penny predicament. It's going to take more than that to keep him down. That's all right, Cole. What a match! Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. What an uppercut. Wow, what a gritty performance. Momentum is fully in the corner of Samoa Joe now. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. Boom, what impact. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? The end may be near. Here he comes. No question. Oh, Samoa Joe isn't looking so hot, guys. Oh boy, he is warm. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's got the rope, and the pin is broken. Superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Muscle Buster! And there it is, boys. He's got him covered. One, two, kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. How'd he do that? Impact. Uh oh. Is he done? Samoa Joe wins. I can't say that I'm surprised. Uh oh, we got trouble. Where is he? And he's looking for him in the entranceway. And from behind, from the crowd, a big attack, an ambush from behind. This is horrible.
You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him one of WWE's most enduring superstars. Look, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up to Y2J, Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho in permanent ink. I thought it was just a rumor. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. No one's backing down here. What an impasse. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be beautiful technique. Now that's a display of excellent ring awareness. Nicely done. Drop down. Drop kick. Oh, great height. Dangerous spot for him to be in. He's got to figure out a way to get back in it, guys. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Chris Jericho's done it all. He's competed in Canada, Mexico, Europe, Japan, Smoky Mountain, ECW, WCW, and is one of the most decorated superstars in WWE history. AJ Styles looking a little out of his element. You don't see that very often. I've witnessed all of Chris Jericho's tenures with WWE, the eras of Jericho, if you will. Chris Jericho's been beloved, he's been despised, and he's held every major WWE championship on several occasions. Let's not forget about Y2J's show, The Highlight Reel, which he's claimed has won several awards. Jericho's best friend, Kevin Owens, and he also created a list Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. If you're going up against Chris Jericho, you t it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He can turn it on in a hurry. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. There it is. It's locked in. A loss. This might be the opportunity he needed. Yeah, that's one of those moves that you'll feel for quite a while. Earlier, Corey, you talked about Chris Jericho getting an early advantage and keeping it. Anyone who opposes Y2J needs to make sure he doesn't have that opportunity. There's no way an opponent of Chris Jericho is going to allow him to take an early advantage. I don't mean just for the match's sake, but for the sake of your career. Jericho can be as ruthless as they come. Oh, man! This hurts. Oh! He's making a statement here with this attack. The shoulders are down. And Jericho pops the shoulder up. Not yet. Styles, Styles rolls through. Specifically targeting the leg. No doubt about that one. How is Jericho going to remain alive? He'll find a way. sure how much he has left. Here's the cover. And an easy kick out. Clearly not enough damage done. Ooh, Chris, you've got to believe this one's over. Boom. But he's got to capitalize now. This is Jericho's chance. Getting it done. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Going for it. 
Going to step through. Roll on their belly. He's got it. Rolls of Jericho. Locked in. Can he finish the job? Not today. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Up handle applied. Chris Jericho has him in his sights. Big toe breaker. That was nasty. If that doesn't end it, I don't know. He's going for the pin. Two. Oh, somehow. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. What a stop. Good grief. He's looking at it. Is he done? He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. A long way down. Oh, oh my goodness. Crushing it. not going to be good. This is not going to be unceremoniously deposited down. He can turn it on in a hurry. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. Style, style goes through. Looking for a submission move. Oh, uh, there it is. It's in. The cat cat crusher. Crusher. That has got to be it. If at first you don't succeed, Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Styles looking to end this thing. Styles clash. That's a good... He may get the three count right there. Two. Three. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And that's the win to start off the night. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.